hi friends welcome to my youtube channel medicology so today is our topic is breast cancer so let's talk about it uh, the month of october recognized as breast cancer awareness month so october is intended to increase global awareness of breast cancer in usa the month-long campaign is known as national breast cancer awareness month which began in October 1985 when American Society uh, American Cancer Society and Pharmaceutical Division of Imperial Chemical Industry formed a partnership to aware and educate people about disease and its early detection method in this video I am going to describe you about breast cancer so let's begin cancer is a condition of uncontrolled cell division hence breast cancer is a disease in which cell is in the breast grow out of control at first let's discuss about parts of or cells of breast a breast is made up of three main types three main parts sorry lobules ducts and connective tissue lobules are the gland which produce milk Ducts are tube that carry milk to the nipple. Connective tissue which consists of fibrous and connective tissue surround and hold everything together. Now let's talk about breast cancer. Breast cancer can begin in different part of the cell. The kind of breast cancer depends on which cell in the breast turn into cancers. Now, let's talk about types of breast cancer. There are several types of breast cancer and they are broken into two main categories. Number one, invasive. Number two, non-invasive or in situ. Although this is not a sequence. Invasive means the cancer has now started to spread to the other part of breast. Non-invasive means non-invasive or in situ means the cancer is still in that part where it appeared. Now, let's talk about its most common type. Number one, ductal carcinoma in C2. It means the cancer are confined to the ducts in breast and haven't invaded surrounding tissue. Number two, lobular carcinoma in C2. The cancer that produce inside milk product producing gland and do not invade to surrounding tissue as you know the lobules are that part which produce milk so the cancer is restricted to that part number three invasive ductal carcinoma so it's an invasive cancer it is the most common type of breast cancer cancer begin in milk duct and invade it to the nearby tissue Invasive lobular carcinoma, the cancer developed in breast lobule and now invaded to the nearby tissues. Now, these are the most common types of breast cancer. Now, let's talk about some less common type of breast cancer. Number one, packet disease of nipple. Cancer begin in duct of nipple, but as it grow, it affect the skin and areola of nipple areola is that blackish part around the nipple now uh, phyloid tumor it's mean it's a very rare type of breast cancer that grow in a connective tissue of breast number third angiocarcinoma as name suggests this cancer grows on the blood vessel or lymph vessel in the breast now inflammatory breast cancer ibc is rare but aggressive type of breast cancer in this condition cell blocks the uh, cancer cell blocks the lymph node near the breast so lymph vessel in the breast can't properly drain uh, the lymph and breast become inflamed red and swelled now let's talk about symptoms of breast cancer different people have different symptoms of breast cancer some Warning, uh, some warning signs of breast cancers are new lump in breast or armpits, 
thickening or swelling of part of breast number third irritation or dimpling of breast skin fourth redness or flasky skin in the nipple area or the breast fifth nipple discharge other than breast milk including blood or maybe pus like material uh, pain in any area of breast these are the some warning signs and symptoms of breast cancer now when to see a doctor if you find a lump or other change in your breast even if a recent mammogram was normal make an appointment with your doctor immediately for prompt evaluation now let's talk about risk factor uh, being a female is a, a risk factor as you know the breast cancer is very rare in male increasing age or being aged uh, may increase your chances of having breast cancer any previous history of breast cancer inheritance radiation exposure obesity beginning your period at younger age having your first child at an older age drinking alcohol never have never been pregnant now let's talk about diagnosis we have different method of diagnosis of breast cancer now uh, number one self examination if you found if you have any doubt then go for the other techniques such as mammography ultrasound mri in some cases breast biopsy now let's talk about treatment breast cancer is treated in several ways it depends on the kind of breast cancer and how far it has spread some of the treatment is given as surgery surgery uh, there are different types of surgery in breast cancer uh, as lumpectomy it's mean removal of lump from the breast mastectomy it's mean removal of complete breast from the body or both of the breast from the body chemotherapy or hormonal therapy uh, it block cancer cell from getting hormones they need to grow um, biological therapy uh, it's actually work with your body's immune system to help it fight against cancer cell radiation therapy using uh, different radiation to fight against the cancer hope this video have increased your knowledge regarding breast cancer if you liked the video then uh, press the subscribe button press the bell icon like my video and comment over here thank you so much